back again guys we got cut off again from uh, what's the best racquetball racket so uh, it's always something isn't it uh, by the way we did get interfered with but it was, at least it was nice we had a little wind and we had uh, uh, the chimes going on so that was okay so I was talking about uh, you know the rackets and, and the, the club rackets I know a lot of guys by the way, this is going to be, and, and this is Wednesday, August 17th, I believe. Yep, Wednesday, August 17th, and this will wrap it up for the What's the Best Racket. So this will be What's the Best Racket 2, okay? Uh, and what I'm telling you is, is all personal, um, my beliefs, uh, this is what I think. So you don't have to agree with me or anything. I don't endorse any manufacturer of any racket. Uh, I don't think one's better than the other. Uh, they all make good rackets. But I was talking about, uh, I know some guys that play these so-called club rackets or loners, um, or as they call them, uh, club rackets, you know, uh, beginner, entry-level rackets, you know, they're fine, they're fine. Aluminum, you don't hit the wall. Now, however, I do have a favorite, personally, I do have favorites, uh, and it's not necessarily manufacturer. This is a hybrid right here, and it's a 21-inch, not a 22. Here's that uh, entry-level racket. 21 inches, okay, it's smaller. But it's made of graphite, and I am, that is my favorite. They, they call it high modulus graphite. However, graphite tends to be uh, a little heavier. Well, I don't have an issue with the weight. A lot of people are into, oh, the lighter the better, and swing weight, and weights in the head, and weights in the, in the handle, and all this stuff, you know. Well. For me, 175, 180 grams, 250 grams, 300 grams, that's okay with me. It's what's in it, spring bed, okay? This guy here, it, it happens to be a head, um, pyramid, head pyramid, graphite. I don't even know the weight, but I sure like it. It's uh, 21 inches long, and it is a hybrid. I re-sprung it. It has um, polyester vein strings. I'm obviously, you know, I'm a poly, poly fan, poly head. Polyester veins. Um, I think it's called Black Magic, the polyester. Might be copoly, I'm not sure, but they're real stiff. But then again, the, the process are a uh, dual core nylon, multi-filament nylon give you that spring bed, okay? So I like this one because it is graphite and uh, it's it's medium size, okay? Um, here's high end. This is a, a head. This is total hybrid, high end. No, it's not hybrid. This is factory. Uh, head metallics, power channels, uh, inner grommet system, flex point, uh, micro gel, whatever that is. So, but I believe this is one that a lot of them are into now. Um, it's a combination of an infused. Uh, and don't quote me on this, but I think it's an infused titanium aluminum graphite mixture in the frame uh, makeup. So that's a, a, a very high end racket right there. Had uh, extreme 180, so it's 180 gram. Well, okay, that's good. So, but to tell you the truth, I don't like hitting this thing because I haven't changed the strings. It's too tight for me. It's too tight. So, when I change the strings, I'll like it. I'm sure. Um, I got to show you this little. Um, I used to call it the skinny racket days. Okay, see how skinny that is. I love this racket. This is hybrid, re-strung by myself. 
uh, RTS, Ectalon, Optima, Graphite. It doesn't say high modulus graphite, but I'm sure it is. This is 100% graphite. And this might even weigh 190 grams, I don't know, but that's why it's thin, I don't know. But with the right strings, this thing will beat like crazy. Um, there's a manufacturer, uh, I think it's, I'm pretty sure it's Ectalon. In the old days, they had some graphite rackets that they called wall beaters. In other words, you can beat the heck out of the wall and, and you're not going to break it. So, graphite, 100% graphite rackets are my favorites as far as the frame. I'll play an aluminum racket, I'll play a titanium racket, or an infusion of titanium, graphite, or uh, whatever. Or plastic. Man, the plastics, you can't you can't hurt those plastic ones. I believe, I, I, I think I'm right on this. Uh, there's one manufacturer right now that has stuck to the old school, and it was, this is what I heard through the grapevine, is that it's Gearbox, and the guy that uh, invented it or, or came about with Gearbox, he, he's a racquetball player, whatever his name is, but uh, he is totally into 100% graphite rackets, and I think high modulus graphite, and you can beat the heck out of them, and they are good, and they might weigh, in fact, they have some light ones too, they do cost you know, they're up there. They're high-end, but uh, graphite is my favorite. Uh, then the the makeup of the infusion of uh, titanium and aluminum and graphite. Um, somebody has one called, uh, I think it's head. It's called... Uh, um, uh, they have the rings around the, the things. Oh, ultra metal or liquid, liquid metal, I think they call it. So I, it's an infusion of uh, titanium, aluminum, graphite, possibly. Well, definitely graphite. But, uh, that's my belief. So I like those as well. So I do like these. But I do like the 100% graphite. Now, this old school right here. This is aluminum. This is a high-end, well, not high-end, but this is redone. Polyester mains. The vibration isolator. Nylon crosses. This is strung a little weaker, so this can bang with this. This can bang with this. Alright, so it's all about the strings, okay? There is another racket, um, oh, it is, okay, well, I don't know, yeah, this one here, okay, here's another one, 21 inches long, it's also a head, uh, laser speed 500, graphite, I love graphite. They're my favorite. They're my favorite. 21 hit inches long. Uh, this one has um, graphite mains in it. The up and down strings. Graphite. Man, this thing is a powerhouse. This is like a bullet. I mean, but they move. The strings move. You, they move real easy. But they're strong and they're, they're fast. Whereas the collies... The polys don't want to move. I mean, they want to stay straight. So I, I, I like to to uh, use the polys and, and, and string them a little loose because they don't give. Where these graphites, boy, we're talking a major, major spring bed. But that's a good racket head as well. There's a uh, Procanex hybrid polyester mains. Okay. And this one, uh, it might be a, a aluminum or titanium, it doesn't actually say, but it's probably one of the two. I'm not sure. Aluminum or poly, I mean, uh, titanium. 
frame, but it doesn't really matter. So, these little ones right here, get the kids back into it. But So whatever the best racket is for you, it's all about the strings, the string gauge, the type of string, string bed, looseness, tightness, um, and whatever you like. So, my next video will probably be uh, a little uh, showing of the camp. I'm doing the um, kids camp, the racquetball camp for kids ages, uh, I believe, 9, nine through 13. Get them into the game, get them into something like this, so they can handle the racket. You know, that's their size. Get them suited up. Let's go. So anyway, so that will conclude uh, what's the best racket. So there isn't really one. So what you have, if you like it, that's the best racket for you. And the ones for me are the best for me. Thanks for watching. We'll be in touch.